So we've been talking a lot over the last couple of weeks about trolls, and specifically about how there are different kinds of trolls, some are more harmful than others, and you probably need to handle some trolls differently than others. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of pushback on that idea from two different camps. The first camp consists of people who say you shouldn't differentiate like that, because the only policy that ever works is don't feed the trolls. And if you ever do anything other than that in any circumstance, you're just giving them attention and giving them what they want and encouraging them. And the second group consists of self-identified trolls who feel that my framing of the issue is unfair to the troll community. They're basically like the troll equivalent of purist underground hip-hop heads. They're like troll backpackers who feel like I'm promoting a distorted mainstream misconception of what trolling is instead of honoring the real underground true school traditions of trolling from back in the days. And that second camp, the troll backpackers, I actually want to try and take their complaints seriously and address them in depth later on. But for today, I just want to try and address that first camp. Now, I can understand why a lot of people assume that don't feed the trolls is always best, because as the troll backpackers will be quick to remind you, the original old school trolling from back in the days was more about seeking petty forms of negative attention, finding ways to start some drama and get a rise out of people by saying a bunch of stuff you don't really mean. Its origins lie in a petty desire to provoke, and when you're dealing with that old true school five elements form of trolling, a lot a lot of times the best thing to do is just walk away instead of endlessly going back and forth in a particular message board thread. But the problem is that over time, those tools and tactics associated with trolling have come to be used for more than just petty provocation. As people have seen how effective those tactics are in creating negative energy, they've learned that whenever you feel hatred towards somebody else for their perspective or their voice or their existence, you can use those trolling tactics to chase that person down in every space they inhabit online and fill every part of their day-to-day -day life on the internet with the worst kinds of hate and threats and abuse. And when you're dealing with that type of harassment, the only way that you can implement the don't feed the trolls rule is to just relinquish your right to be on the internet at all. And the thing about that kind of sustained, amplified, hyper-aggressive trolling is that it seems to happen a lot more often to some people than it does to others. It seems to happen a lot more often if you are LGBT, a woman, a person of color. It happens a lot more often to people in marginalized groups. And I think that means that when someone else tells you that they're dealing with some trolls, especially if they're a member of one of those groups that you're not a member of, you should probably take a minute to find out exactly what they're dealing with before you just toss that old don't feed the trolls chestnut at them. Because they might not be dealing with that old school back in the days we used to do it out in the park trolling that's just in pursuit of sound and fury. They might be dealing with that sustained, hyper-aggressive, major label, big budget hatefulness that comes in pursuit of shame and silence. And I'm not saying those smaller forms of trolling can't also be harmful and hard to deal with. I'm not saying I know the right answers for either one. I'm one of those who's been privileged not to deal with it a whole lot. But I think usually a good first step, especially if you've had the privilege of avoiding it, is to start by listening and asking exactly what's going on and how you can support. Because if they're getting harassed in pursuit of their silence and you tell them all they can do is just don't feed the trolls, in that scenario it might be you who's helping the trolls win.